welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a November Glossy Box unboxing and October's review. So I'll get straight into what I got in the October, October box. We're back to the normal pink box and I'll let you know what's inside. So the first thing we got this time, obviously you get the leaflet of what's in there. I got a little black dress.co.uk £10 gift, I don't know if you realise that's £10, £10 off your yeah, minimum spend £100, that's that. It got 20% 20 20 off something, the white company, so I got that, and then I also got a £40 claim within 30 days, hello fresh, little about to there, so that's what we got in the top of it, and then inside the tissue paper we have some Wickers and Swords Quattro for Women razors, and these are raspberry rain, and apparently They've got scented handles, which is really random. Not open them yet, and I'm gonna open them now and see if they actually do smell. I don't know why you need your handles to smell raspberry. As long as they shave your legs, surely they're fine. <laughs> oh, look, anyway, they do smell nice. They've got a little bit of a scent, but just the actual. If I can get the lid off it. Yeah, just the smell, but. They look right, they look like that. So you get three of those in a pack, but I needed some of them anyway, so to be fair, they did come in handy, but that was the first thing. Then the second thing is a Nanogen Root Boost Hair Thickening Spray. So it lifts each, lifts each root, thickens each strand. Now this is something that I think I probably will use. I should have used it today, I've just dried my hair. I had my operation on Tuesday and it's now Saturday. I'm starting to feel a little more human today. This is the first day that I've uh, managed to wash my hair. I try to put a little bit of makeup on. I just wanted to feel a bit more like myself. So I thought I'll get some videos filmed while I feel that everybody's out. Grandma's here looking after the kids. So Daddy and Grandma's taking everybody out. So I've blow dried my hair. And um, yeah, just feel a little bit more like, more like myself now, which is better. But So I should have tried some of this, which I didn't. But it's instant thickness for fuller looking hair and it says it's heat activated it's got a little hair dryer on the back so I will try that next time apparently you can use it on already dry hair spray it in and then just um, use the hair dryer to activate it so I'll give that a go and I will let you know next month what I think then we also got a brush which is by Ruby and it's shopruby.ie it is a eyeshadow brush and it is called the at large tapered blending brush Let's get this. I haven't even got anything out of the packet. You can tell this came on the Wednesday after my operation, and I've just looked at it and I haven't opened anything yet. As you can tell, that wasn't feeling too good. That is lovely and soft. Though. I'm looking forward to giving to giving that a go. I love receiving a new brush in in the beauty boxes. It is good. So that the book. I haven't told you the RIP of anything I buy. The brush has got an RIP of eight pound. The thickening spray um, for 100ml is 9.95, and the razors are 5.69. So this is a next thing is a 111 skin Harley Street London uh, gold brightening facial treatment mask. So that is that, and it's a gold bright yeah gold brightening facial treatment mask. Eleven Harley Street, which is why it's called 111 Skin. Didn't know that. Probably may have should have done, but I didn't. So that's why it's called 111 Skin, I guess. Um, for optimum results, use three times a week, which I won't be doing. I'll use this one and probably never use it again. This has got an RIP of twenty pound, and it's a biocellular facial treatment mask. The ultimate pre-party pick-me-up will into instant results, boasting a series of techie skin credentials. This mask is like second skin, instantly locking in moisture and allowing the three key ingredients to get to work. So, I will give that a go, and again, I will let you know. And then the last thing that we got in this box was an eyeshadow stick, and I always like a cream eyeshadow stick, so it looks like this. That is the colour of it. It's a really nice everyday colour. I will definitely, definitely use that. I think it's similar to another one that I got though in a, a birch box, but I will use them. This has got an RIP at £15, and it's a jumbo eye pencil, and this is in bubble number seven. And it's by De Bruyere. I don't know if you can see that. De Bruyere, is it? Paris? I'm not very good at the, at the names, but that is that. 
so I'm looking forward to using that. So that is everything we got in the November box, so I'll now go on to review what we got in the October box. So well, the first thing that we got in the October, wo October box was the Be Good Honey and Camelina, I think it is, facial exfoliator. Used it, allergic to it. What a surprise. It's a shame, it smells really nice. It does smell like honey. Um, it's more of a, it's more creamy, more of a cream, it has got, has got little like bits in, if we can see, it's got little bits in, but yeah, brings me out in spots on my chin as quite a few things do, so unfortunately I can't use any more of this so I will give it to someone else to try and use it, but yeah, that is that product, so a bit of a shame, but it smells really nice and probably be good for other people's skin, just not mine. And the next thing which I haven't tried is the Ritual of Sakura. Celebrate each day as a new beginning magic touch body cream, organic rice milk and cherry blossom. Like I said, haven't tried it. I'll try it, it's quite thick. Oh, it is quite thick. Just having a go now. Really, really, really rubs in really easily actually even though it's thick. And smells really good. God. Yeah, that is really good actually, that's really nice. I will probably coat myself in that later. I really, really like that. I should have tried it on already, I know. But sometimes I forget. So that is an RIP of £6. Uh, it doesn't say, that's not the full size because it usually says full size, but it doesn't tell you what the full size is. But the £6, yeah, I'd probably buy that, depending on how big the size of this is. This is 70ml. But it usually says on the thing that it's full size if it is, so I'm assuming it's not. So £6 for one bigger than this, not, not so bad because it's quite a lot in this one anyway. So I'll give that more of a go. And, but yeah, that's left my arm really nice. It's already soaked in. That's, that's brilliant. So soaking in fast is something I need when I've got to change after the kids. But yeah, that love that one, that I think. That's very good. And another thing that I'm not so pleased with, like I mentioned in the, in the video when I got this, that I wish I'd have got one of the primers or something. This is a lip liner, it's not something that I use. It's one of the PS Pro ones from Primark. It is red. Again, it's not a colour I, I use anyway. So it's like that. I tried it and I was, it, my lips were like wonky. I was like, do this one, I'm doing it, I think. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, But it's a long wear liner pen. Yeah, I didn't like it. It's not to say that it isn't any good, it's just that I'm not a lip liner fan. That is the colour of it. I think I might be better with like the softer crayon type of pencils, not a belt tip pen one, because it was just like bumpy and I looked ridiculous, so yeah. Don't like that, but that's a shame. And then, what else did we get? Oh yes, I remember. This, I really, really like. It's a secret flush, soothing cream blusher and lip stain duo by Universal Beauty, so it looks like this, and it is this colour, and I have it on my cheeks and on my lips today, I really really like this, if you're in a rush in the morning, like most mornings I am, just quickly put some on my cheeks and blend it in with um, a brush, and then just quickly on my lips, and you're done, so that's really good, I really really like that, and that's got an RIP of £15, that's that one. And that I forgot to say has an RIP of ten pound fifty for the full. Oh, that is the full size. So that's ten pound fifty. And this has got an RIP of three pound. And then another thing that I got is this lipstick. It's a really sh real shame with the colour of this because I really really like the consistency. It's a lovely lipstick and I love the packaging. It's by um, Trifle Cosmetics Buttery Lip Cream. RIP of twelve ninety five. But the colour is just like skin coloured and it's not, it looks darker there, but I'll put it on my, yeah like that, it just, it's not really, can I colour that here? But it says to sort of put it over, hmm. it's not so bad, putting it over that. It's not so light, so I might be using it with that because, like I said, it's got a really nice consistency and stuff. So I'll probably use it with that because that doesn't look too bad. But on its own, it's a bit of a you can't really see it colour. Like you can't really see it from there. I just like my skin colour. So yeah, but apart from that, really nice lipstick. So probably in a different colour, I would really, really like it. And the last thing we got, which I've used up, 
is this um, shampoo. I knew from the smell that it was head and shoulders and then when I went and watched Estee's video on the Glossy Box web, um, website, it said head and shoulders, I was like, I knew it, I guessed. <laughs> but it was a really nice shampoo. I tend to use most things on my hair anyway and my hair is usually fine with most things but I did really like it and it might be something that I buy because it's better for the oh I don't have to buy that one specific for me or the family could use it at the minute I've got like a brunette one everybody else in the family is blonde so that is everything I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe and if there's any videos you would like to see me do please let me know in the comments down below and I will see you next time bye